a beautiful Sunday day. Got the hood off, but we got the top of the engine off too because after making a little bit of modifications, modifications, my friend Jim come over and we were tuning up. Then all of a sudden, after it ran for about 10, 15 minutes, kablam, kablam. Here we go. Can you see it? Nice little bent push rod. But that is because I've got a valve stuck right there. Nothing's moving. So half the engine's going to be torn apart. I'm going to drain the, the fluids again, pop the head off, find out. i got to take it to machine shop now. Um, obviously replace this. But uh, sick to my stomach when that went down after we took a look. So... Anyway, we popped the hood off so that we were going to do some adjustments on this. Uh, he came over to help me out with that, but since he was here, we're like, ah, let's try it out. Let's, uh, and it ran okay. And all of a sudden, boom. Um, all right, everything else we're working with, you know, inside the pan, the cam looks, you know, the cams look fine. The crank looks fine. We even popped the uh, number one um, piston end cap. And that looked okay. So, yeah, we got a problem. We checked the torque on the head. I had one that was a little bit loose. Um, checked the coolant. Actually, we saw this before uh, we even ran it. Is that there was a tiny little bit of oil in here. You can't really see it. But uh, there's a little bit of oil in here. So that's going to come out. All right. A little disheartening. But that's it for now. Okay, just gonna put this up and just let y'all know that I had a casualty and it's probably gonna be a little while before I can afford to put all this back together. All right, catch y'all soon, bye. All right, so it's the next day and I'm a little bit more cooled off than yesterday after the initial casualty. So let's uh, drain the coolant, pop that head, find out why my truck decided to stick a valve so I'm not really happy about it but we gotta we gotta get through it Okay, heads off, as you saw. Had to climb inside the engine bay. So inside number one cylinder, thankfully, it's only this. There's no metal shavings in here. It did kiss the piston a little bit right there. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet. But I didn't find any metal shavings inside the cylinder. And the rest of the cylinders look good too. So who knows, who knows what's up. Okay, all right, let's take a look at the head. It is stuck, but doesn't appear to have any cracks. No, uh, no metal shavings in here either. Um, the rest of the head looks pretty good too. Okay, not sure what's going on. Still got the stuck spring. I'm wondering if maybe one of the keepers got, uh, where the guide got a little bit wonky in there, and next thing you know, I've got stuck stuck valve. So, all right, let's see what we gotta do. Okay, got my parts, got my oil filter. I'm gonna clean this off, and I've got my cylinder head back from the machine shop. I've got uh, brand new valves in here. The exhaust valve is one that was blown up and the intake was fine But I went ahead and had them change it out anyway um, Had them check on the rest, but I'm gonna clean this off and let's see what else. I'll show you the uh, guide So it might start raining, but uh, here's the uh, Here's the guide Lack of oiling I bet I bet my uh um, rocker arm um, went and uh, spun. So let me grab this and I'll show you what I think happened here. We're going to put all this back together today. 
Oops, starting to rain. Okay, number one exhaust right here. There's an oil tube that comes down and it locks in. Let's see if I can spin this around and show you part of the shaft. Just inside here, you can barely see it. There's a, a little hole. Well, this oil tube is supposed to sit down in there and lock. Well, the nipple's just a tad too short to actually lock in. I've got, these are impossible to find, just so you know. This, um, with that fitting on the end, with that kind of flare, I don't have the tool to do it. For 223, it doesn't really exist anymore. Okay, I guess I uh, forgot to turn on the camera, but right now I'm sitting at top dead center for both number one and number six. Uh, I took some emery cloth to the um, piston here, kind of cleaned up that little rough edge that I got. What I have in there, that little dip, is no deeper than the 030 uh, stamped into the piston head, so we're going to run with it. Uh, I'm going to clean off the head one more time, and I'm going to bring the head over and then get it up up onto the fender well so that I could climb in and uh, get it on there okay I don't know if I'm gonna film that but let's see So, you didn't hear my uh, big oops as I was shifting and I, you know, I stopped, but uh, just as I hit the stop on the camera, this is what I got. Alright, I don't even know if we're going to be able to see this. Um, right about here, it stretched. It, it stretched a good quarter or eighth of an inch, if you look at that. Um, we're done. That wasn't even the same hole that I was having a problem with. I don't know how old these fasteners are. Who knows? They're probably OEM. Um, but I'm kind of stuck. I'm not doing anything. I'm not going to the hardware store to go look for grade 8 bolts because I just don't, I don't think it's a good idea. So until I can figure out how to get 716, 14, which is a coarse thread, by 4 inch, and that's from underhead to the to the end here, uh, four inch. I can look for ARP, but I don't really know anything about their uh, their bolts. I remember the reading a long time ago about some kind of like procedure to uh, set them, and you have to use their special lubricant, whatever. This is just a little two two three. Why is this thing got to be so difficult? But I'm glad it didn't break off in the cylinder. But that really pisses me off, and now I really wonder, did it do anything to the uh, the block? Probably not, because it's one of those open holes. But what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to take this one and screw it down. 
see if it goes all the way down, and then stop. Um, I'm going to have to take the head off anyway, but I just don't have another gasket. I mean, I already used it, so we're done. We're done on this. I'm going to clean up and probably just, I don't know. I don't know. I've got like four videos that need to be uh, um, edited anyway, so we're working on it. All right, I'll catch you guys in a minute.